Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Simmer 22. We're back here at No Man's Land with Grover Games. The last episode, we're still, as you can see, we're still in the month of August and last episode we got all this grass mowed, ba raked, tattered, and baled and we're still in the process of moving the bales. And like I mentioned last episode, I was going to split this into two episodes just because there's a lot I want to get done this this month. My main goal right now is to get all this all this ground at least plowed. And I would like to start soil sampling, but I might hold that off. I think we might, if we got time this month, we might get everything set up to start doing a corn silage. So we might start working on that instead. So that way, when we get all that knocked out here, we can make sure we hit our goal for like 200,000 liters of corn silage this year. Oh. Trying to get the bales there. I think they're saying more above this hill, is there? But, like I was saying, I my goal is to at least get 200,000 liters of corn silage because with, with the new calves coming in next month, I want us to be very, extremely prepared for the all the extra feed we're going to be put, putting out. And that way we'll, we should be set for the dairy barn, hopefully, is basically my main goal right now. And uh, we're going to... And like I said, we're gonna get this all plowed up. I think we'll wait till we'll wait till like winter time to towards the month of December to start worrying about getting getting this soil sample and such. And I'm I'm kind kind of thinking we buy our own soil sampler. We might buy Gator or we might buy one of the new Kubota side by sides. Just because last episode I was talking about buying a Kubota tractor, but. I'm trying to keep away from doing that right now, just cause. Oh, just cause the way they got them designed, I I noticed they can have more of a oh, row crop tire, but they don't work like a row crop like an American row crop tire like the 7520 does when I was messing around and playing with them. They still need like narrow wheels to run in between the rows and such. So that's I'm gonna stay away from those for now. Uh, I might. We might eventually get one for this series and get rid of something smaller like the 1086 for it or such. Because that would be the first tractor I think I would get rid of for it just because... I think I think the Kubota would be a good little mowing and baling tractor tractor to have for the farm. Especially if we got more of a modern one. And if we got more of a... Oh... So this is gonna sound weird. More, I think the the front mount and the the front the combo mowers, and what I mean by combo mowers, like the front mount, mo front front and rear mount mowers, are not a very big thing around here. Like the mower I've been using in this series is more common. Granted, granted, we're not in a very the state I'm I live in. We're not a very big like dairy or or beef state really. We're we're kind of, we're kind of more of a swine production state so to speak and we're more we're actually more I think if, if I remember right I know back in college that just one of the few things I, random facts I learned I didn't think it, it would be us we're actually the biggest state for chickens which surprises me I would never think we would be be the one for producing eggs at, eggs and stuff like that I didn't grab that last one up here did I Yes, I did. Okay. Nope, I didn't. It's right there. But I think I think we'll end up getting in, getting one eventually, and it might be our planning tractor as well, which what actually would probably be a nice fit for the for the farm, just because we. It seems like that 1086 has issues with pulling it, and I I actually got another international in mind that is actually going to be a better upgrade for us so maybe we'll do that sooner rather than later maybe we'll write rank up rack up some hours on this 1086 we got and then when we start rolling rolling the money in oh, uh, I probably should put the bands down and think I would pull it wait pull it like that but actually, you know what, that sounds like a better idea, just because 
I know the 1086 is, seems like it lacks po quite a bit of power when pulling that planner. Maybe we'll think about just exchanging the 1086 for something a little bit more modern. But the rest of the equipment we can keep more older. I mean, we already got this Bobcat, which is kind of a... Kind of pushing the envelope. It's more of a newer skid lower than an older one, but... I, I just really like the style of this Bobcat, so that's kind of why I went with it. So, actually, I'm curious. Where... I can't... I can't remember all the pricing on all of them. And I, th I think I would want to go with the M8 series. M7 would be... Well, the M7 would be closer to what we got. But I like the look of the M8 better. Yeah, I would want I would just want the rear rear twins and we would just go with the front weight. I don't think there's no reason for us to go for for the 201. I would st just stick with the 181. And actually I want to look at the Midas tires. Or actually Michelin, that's what I actually would rather have is Michelin tires. I don't know. I I really like the look of the Kubotas. They're just it just is like that bright orange is a really sharp look. That'd be one hundred sixty nine thousand dollars for what we want. And honestly, it'd make more sense since we're we're gonna eventually put GPS GPS on the on the deer. We might as well get. We might as well get something a little newer so that way when we're planting it we can have straight rolls as well. So that makes more sense from a role play aspect as well to get something a little bit more modern that can run in GPS as well. Not saying you can't run GPS on a 1086, I just feel like I just really wanna wanna get a Kubota. Not gonna lie. Just cause just cause it'd be something new and different, just cause I never played with one on and back in nineteen as well. Be strapped down here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. With that Kubota, with that 180 horse, we would actually be able to do a few more things on the farm with it instead of relying on the white all the time as well. well maybe that maybe that would be the route we go. I have to think on that now. We can always put the deer on the cyclone as well. And I noticed my frames dropped a little bit. Ever since I updated my graphics card, I feel like I've been having a little bit of issues running this game a little bit, but my graphics card hasn't hasn't been isn't the newest thing on the market either. I'm tr trying to think here. Actually, I really kind of want to get that Kubota today. Let's see. Oh, prices are still going up, which is good to see. September must is the prime. September and January are looks like are the more of the two prime months to sell our milk. And what do we got for planks? Twenty four forty. We'll hang on to those. Okay, there we go. So, we're gonna get these... We're gonna get these bales moved today. I think... I think in the long run, that's what we're gonna do for investment. I think we're gonna get rid of the 1086. Because I do have another K Case International in mind that I was planning to upgrade to that was... Actually has a lot more horsepower than the white. And then we could get another... Another... Look. Another variety of tractor on the farm, actually. How much water do we have in this? 4,000 liters. I'm gonna drop this off here quick. I would really like to sell the milk next month if it gets to the right price, but we gotta get this tank emptied first. 
I'm hoping we're... Yeah, we're... It's not looking like that's gonna happen. But it's kind of... Kind of a nice feeling looking at our lot here and seeing all these cattle compared to when we first started. It's... Getting pretty full. I should actually plant a few trees in there to offer a little bit more shade. But we're gonna finally jump in the time lapse here. I think I've taken enough enough of your guys' time this this morning. But I think that's the that's gonna be the ultimate goal. So three three big investments that are coming up is obviously the harvester for next year. We're gonna get rid of the 66 after this year. I am dead committed to that. I can't, we're going to get the Kubota at some point, and we're also going to invest into that semi I talked about, just because that way I'll, that semi will be able to do quite a few tasks that we can that we can take advantage of. But we're going to jump in the time lapse here finally, and we'll see you guys in a bit.
my body, move with my body.
Summer's gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body oh so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud all right everyone this is where we're gonna start wrapping up today's episode i decided to stop working that ground early because i wanted to get a few loads in before the night ended today and i just i just figure we'll have more than enough field work coming up in the next couple episodes i mean we'll we'll have the field that we're chopping now to work up oh geez all these lights are causing a little bit of issues for for everything. I figured, and I figured the other thing that would be kind of nice is to kind of see a night to be chopping at night, seeing all the equipment, the yard lights on, all the equipment lights and such like that. So I figure, I figure it'd be a nice change of pace versus just always seeing. The only time we ever harvest at night anymore is when we're all oh, when we're combining, combining, and the lights on that 6600 are. Definitely not up near it up to date as everything else we have on the farm. Shut that off here. We'll go over here and get this last stuff unloaded. But I think we got. I think that's our fourth fourth load we got. Got already. So I we're sitting. So we're already a good portion through that field. I'm wondering if we're gonna make my goal of three hundred thousand chaff in that silo. That's kind of what I set that for us temporarily right now but if we end up chopping that whole field I might just stop after that just because I feel like at by the point we get all that chopped I think we'll be sitting good enough uh, I decided to leave the 1086 hooked up to the chisel plow because there's no re real reason to unhook it right now I figure we use the 7520 here for a little bit put a few hours on this thing as well See where we're at for silage. 150,000. So that we we'll probably actually hit that before we even get the field finished, even with us producing TMR here. Keep remembering to come back in here to fill this up. I think we could probably yeah we could definitely get away with oh, get away with putting that last bale in the barn here. So that's what we're gonna do quick here. I thought for a second it was gonna take us three bales to get all that TMR made but we're gonna let we're gonna let the pasture run out of feed make sure they get all their hay gone before we give them any more TMR oh, this tip back here there we go but I felt like we had a pretty good day today it's a little bit of a longer episode as well today too I kept want to make sure we made use of the most of the most of the month of August and the other thing I think we're gonna do too is I have a way to fix that water tank issue I have. I'll just use the... Oh, turn off the lights here. Oh jeez, I didn't realize they went that bright. Almost 280,000 and 265,000 of straw, so I don't think we'll need any oats next year. To be honest with you. So I'm thinking... Enough that. So hook up the little water tanker here so there is a way for me to, f to kind of fix the water tank thing I know that there's a mod out there where you can like install and drop off water and stuff like that but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use the power tools mod that I have here to get to just completely empty out the tank it's kind of weird that we just don't have that option in game wise to completely empty out the water tankers. Let's drop, drop off what we can. And there we go. So we'll just do it that way. Cause I really want to haul some milk and I don't want to be sitting on this milk forever. So I think that's what we'll do tomorrow morning. If the price is right, we'll get rid of some of the, some of the milk we have. Get a little bit of money rolling in, cause I, I'm starting to think that I would like to get, 
since I'm pl already planning to get a Kubota just because it's a new the new DLC out is out and I would like like to experiment with something new new as well and I'm already planning on getting another international tractor so we'll be covered there for variety. Kind of weird that the PTO shaft was vibrating yet. That's what threw me off there. Sorry. I'll just park this over here for now because we'll be. We'll go back out tomorrow morning and start hitting it hard for everything else. And we'll shut this. Get the blower shut off here. But I think, yeah, because I, how much, how much milk do we even have in here right now? 20,000 liters. So we got two tanks worth of milk already. Since we sold it last time, and if it's at a decent price, we'll get we'll be a little bit closer to get picking up that M8. And like I said, I more of the reason I'm kind of going towards that M8, just something new. Uh, it'll be something that'll be able to handle our oh, I think it'll handle the planner a little bit better, and it'll just be nice to have an, another bigger tractor on the farm and another front wheel sis tractor. Another thing that I was thinking of as well is that if when we start needing a lot more hay and we need to start upgrading mowers, I should have looked at that first actually. First, I am blind. There we go. Let's say it should be able to handle some of the good size mowers. Well, obviously not the that one. I thought for sure it would help be able to handle handle. We need even a bigger tractor for that stuff. But we could use the use these ones, the uh, I think it's pronounced partner, if I'm pronouncing that right. Well, these ones as well. The coon ones wouldn't be bad a bad option either. I always been more of a fan of coon stuff too. But I'm gonna I'm planning to get that tractor without a front hitch for now, and we're just going to go that route. Kind of keep it more American style as long as we can. But I know at some point, when we're mowing grass, we're going to need, we're going to definitely need a quite a bit bigger size mower. But we're going to wrap the episode up here finally today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, Thanks for watching.